Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, we are live today with our Cuisinart Egg Central machine. I have already gotten the first batch going just so I can show you the uh, results. It takes 15 minutes to cook. Um, so what I'm just basically gonna show you before this is finished is how to prep the eggs um, and show you the other accessories that this machine comes with. Um, this is the owner's favorite machine, so I convinced her to bring hers in today and teach me how to use it. Um, you can fit 10 eggs in here at a time, which is amazing. Uh, it comes with these two little egg holders. So like if you're serving um, soft eggs, you know, you can eat them with the spoon out of the top. And then they do send it with a, this is a little dish that goes on the very bottom of here. You can actually make omelets in this. And then you can also make poached eggs in this as well. It can do four poached eggs at a time. So it's a really versatile little machine um, that will cook the eggs depending on how much you water you put in it. You can do soft, medium, or hard boiled eggs. Um, and it also does come with the cup that shows you the measurements. It's possible to see it from here, but it shows you where to fill it up. And also has a little sharp, little sharp guy, like a needle on the bottom of here. Um, so what you want to do with each egg, you either have to clean the eggs before you put them in the machine or after you use the machine without cleaning the eggs, you have to clean the machine with vinegar. Um, so we, we do the vinegar route. So we use the little guy on the bottom of here and just poke a hole. This allows the shell to come off really easily. So you poke a hole in all of the eggs. And I'm always scared I'm gonna crush it right in my hand. You can see too, I think I can show it to where you, you can see the hole on there. Let's see, a little hole. And our machine's done. Perfect. And it does have a standby mode. Um, so when it's done, and if you're busy cooking other things, or you're not in the area, it will stop cooking the eggs. Um, so there's no risk in leaving them in there. This is my very first time ever using it, so I'm excited to see how these turned out. All right, I've got all those poked with holes. Let me go ahead and open this. let that cool off for a second that's very hot um, and then we will test them out and see how they go so the way that you do 10 eggs this little attachment goes on top of your eggs in here when it's full with six and then you put four more on top and I think I do have an example of that here on the side of the box all right not quite sure how long she usually lets them sit there, but I'm gonna let them cool off. I usually um, let the eggs soak in a ice bath after I'm done boiling them, but that is because I don't poke the hole in them, so it helps the shell come off really easily. In a minute, I'm gonna crack this and cut into it and see what it looks like, but it's still very hot. <laughs> you done? Nope. You're still cracking it. Oh, but you stop. Too hot to crack right now. Hey, Warren. <laughs> I'm impatient. I can never wait. <laughs> okay. What are y'all looking for? They're called cheese savers. They're a bag that you put your cheese in. I don't think we have any of those. You always had them before. If we do have them, our cheese section is going to be that way. Nellie, could you help them find an item? Okay. Then if you guys move them. Yeah, we move. What are you looking for? They're called cheese savers. They come in a 
box of 12, I think. Okay. They also have paper that you wrap your keys in. Okay, yeah, I... We have the paper, but... Uh, okay, so now that I've burned the skin off of my hands peeling that, <laughs> um, we have our egg here. And I'm going to cut into it too just to see what the center looks like. So this actually only took about 13 minutes and we have a perfect, I'm going to come up there. It's always hard to show you guys from far away, but got a perfect egg. All right, guys, I am going to pop off, but I'll see you next week. If you have any suggestions of videos for me to do or things that you would like to see, let me know and I will try to incorporate them. Thanks. Have a good one.